everyone, welcome back to Cuddy's Bookshelf. So it is time for my May TBR unwrapping. Can you believe it's May? I can't. Oh my goodness. So yes, if you are new to my channel, I pick five numbers from the glass. The numbers correspond to the numbers on the books and those will be the books that I read this month. Also, there is a chance for me to pick two more books because there is pieces of paper in here that say pick another book. So that will mean that I have a chance of reading seven books this month. It's all down to luck, which I tend to not have much of. <laughs> but yes, so we'll get started. The first one is number 20. That is... A chunker. Always great. Oh, but a chunker I'm excited about. So this is going to be a reread for me. So this is the Bargainer series. This is a fantasy romance. So this is about Callie who has loads of beads where it's debts owed to the Bargainer. And it is, she's got hundreds and that is very rare normally people have only one or two from the bargainer and the bargainer always comes to collect and it goes from there when the day that the bargainer finally comes to collect from her and this is such a good fantasy romance with what i can remember from it i really really enjoyed it and this is why i put it on my cart as a reread so i'm really excited to get to this actually this excites me loads i'm really looking forward to my first read so yeah the bargainer series the next one is i've picked up two. Oh, i know i've picked up three there we go it is number 11 nice and thin although the bargainer was um a thicker book it's i think it's like five books four or five books in one and i tend to fly through that series really quick the last time that i read it ah the next one is claire keegan's antarctica so i've only ever read one book by claire keegan before and i was so impressed i mean this is short and the one that i read is like half the size of this one it had such a packed punch to it like the emotions that it brought out in me and that one was called foster i did mention it in my library room tour it was one of the books that i mentioned that i absolutely loved claire keegan's writing and i did go out and buy all of her books and this is the newest one that she's brought out so i'm really excited to get to this if i remember right this one is like short stories and i'm just really really excited to get to it because claire keegan's writing when i'm red foster was absolutely incredible so i'm so excited to read more by her so yeah the next one i'm so excited for my reads so far here we go we have this one and it is pick another so back to the third one and it is this one and it is number four. Oh, and it is Cunning Women. So this is a story, uh, like a witchy story. Uh, when it is no longer safe to be called a witch, they call themselves Cunning. I am looking forward to this. They only want a kindness, but beware, for if you have no coin, they will curse you black and blue. A witchy fiction book. I've got such a good mix. I've got a fantasy romance. I've got a Claire Keegan, which is the most amazing writing ever. And then we have Cunning Women, which is a witchy read. And I'm just so excited. So, the next one is... They're all going in together. Hold on. Let me shake it out. There we go. 21 which is this one oh i put that with a 
oh and it is Tara Dewitt's Funny Feelings. I have been wanting to read some Tara Dewitt's books. I did pick um, Tara Dewitt out as a new contemporary romance author. I wanted to try because you get into a routine of buying the same ones like Emily Henry, Tessa Bailey. Um, like I, I always end up like Ali Hazelwood. I always automatically buy their books and I wanted to find a new contemporary romance author so I do have a few more that I have hauled since but I'm really excited for this one I, I think this one is about a girl who is in love with her manager she's a stand-up comedian and she's in love with her manager so something along those lines I don't really like to read read the back so I think that's what this one is about so how many is that? One, two, three, four. So we've still got another two. And I'll go for this one. And it is 28. 29. 28. Oh. So this is Hooked by Emily McIntyre. This is a Peter Pan smutty retailing and i am here for it so i think what i can remember of this one i have to keep remembering stuff um this one is about james who is trying to get revenge on peter until peter's daughter comes into his bar one day and james starts having like he, he thinks oh that's the best kind of revenge like you know getting with peter's daughter until he starts getting feelings for her and i think that's where this this goes from again with it being a romance i don't really want to read too much into it but i know it's a smutty romance that is a peter pan retelling so i'm excited for that too so last one number six is just give me one any one there we go <laughs> and it is this one oh and it is number one <laughs> so number one and it's a thriller it is black eyed susan's by julia heblin and i am excited i have i don't really want to read the back it's the only taglines i am the star of screaming i am the star of screaming tabloid headlines and campfire ghost stories i am one of the four black eyed susans the lucky one that is all i'm going to read the tagline of because i like to go my thrillers quite blind and i have had this one you can sort of see with the aging pages i've had this one for quite some time when did this come out 2015 i have had this because i got this when it first came out so i've had this since it, 2015 so it is about time i get to it but i am looking forward to it let me know if you've read this because i am intrigued so yeah a thriller i am so excited for my books so these are the six books that I have unwrapped this month and I am so excited. So the Bargainer series with it being a fantasy romance, so excited. I have a Claire Keegan, I have um, a witchy read, I have some romances. So I have contemporary as well as like a smutty darker romance. And then I have a thriller. That is so exciting. I have got like a mix of genres and I'm just so excited for them. So, so excited. But as usual, I like to add on. These are the books that I want to also get to this month after I finish these. Last month, I unwrapped Jay Kristoff's Empire of the Vampire. And that is the only book last month that I didn't manage to get to read in. Because I read the entirety of the Zodiac Academy, I have no re no regrets because it built it up ready for the new one. I enjoyed all of my experience and getting to the end of that series. So there's no regrets. I absolutely loved my time last month reading them. But it did mean that I 
didn't get to read in this one and it was the only book that I unwrapped that I didn't get to and I do give myself a little bit of leeway when it comes to certain books. I did have some months last year where I didn't get to the books and I re-put them on my shelf intending to re-wrap them another time but I won't be putting this back on my shelf. I am so excited for this book. It is unbelievable and when I unwrapped it last month I was so excited and I couldn't wait to get to it. It was just the need to read the new Zodiac and wanting to, you know, have that whole experience. So I am putting it on this month's GBR. I will be reading this and as a punishment for not, even though it's not really a punishment, as a punishment for not reading this last month, I am adding Empire of the Damned also, which they are both quite chunky books, but I am so excited for them, nevertheless. Like, so this is Jay Kristoff's vampire series and I am, I'm excited for it. I am really excited for it. And if I can squeeze them on here, I will. Oh, chunkers. So that's the first two books I want to add on. Yes, there is more. Um, if you watched my reading wrap up, which will would be before this video, you will know I have got to the last book in the D.I. Helen Grace series and I'm waiting for the next one with everybody else. But I do have another book by MJ Orridge called Eye for an Eye. I've heard really great things about this. I am not surprised. I love MJ Orridge's thrillers and I don't think I can go a month without one. So I'm really nervous about next month. <laughs> but this month I have this one. So we have a new thriller. Again, I won't read the back because spoilers for me and I'll be reading it very soon. So there's that one. And then <laughs> there is more. The last three is three that I put on my TBR last month, but it wasn't what I unwrapped. So it wasn't like a, a necessary read. It was just ones that I was hoping to get to a bit like um this one this month and these this month also but i also need to get to the darkmore penitentiary series so there is three books there is caged wolf there is alpha wolf and there is feral wolf and these are the sequels to the Zodiac Academy and I know that Caroline Peckham and Suzanne Valenti which is the authors of the Zodiac and, and obviously these they are currently writing the fourth one because everybody keeps asking for the fourth because I know that this one like I've heard that this one ends on a really big cliffhanger so now I know that they're writing the fourth as well it makes me more intrigued to jump into this as well as now that I've finished the Zodiac Academy it will be nice to go back into the world of Solaria and you know follow some other characters so yeah this is also on here that is all of the books that is all of the books that I plan to read this month I am so oh they're drunk let me start there I am so excited for the books that I've got there is such a good mix. Oh. There, there probably will be extras that I add on because I am reading a lot of non-fiction to do with witchcraft and stuff like that. So um, there might be some add-ons regarding other books that I'm reading. But this is my main focus this month and i'm so excited for may let me know what your plans are for your reads in may are you excited for your reads do you have any like anticipated reads on there i'm just so excited oh. um let me know if you've read any of these because i would be intrigued to find out what your thoughts are obviously no spoilers not just for me but for other people in the comments but yeah, I'd love to know what you think of my TBR for May and I hope that you are well. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more from me, please subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!
favours. He grants favours. I'm trying to re remember everything that I know about this. So, and it... In, oh, I did mention it in my wardrobe. Wardrobe. God's sake. I did pick her out as a new fan uh, fantasy romance. Not fantasy romance. I have... I did... Pick, mm, one, two, three, four, five. Is that five? One, two, three, four, five. Apparently I forgot how to count. Will it tell me? Oh. Ah. Let me just put that up there because I keep knocking it over. But it did mean that I didn't get to Empire of the Vampire by J. Kristoff. And as you can see, these are chunky books, but I am so, so excited to get to these to the point where I won't just fob it off and put it back on my shelf. I will read it this month. And as punishment for <laughs> not getting to it, I also want to read the second one. So, and this is even chunkier. <laughs> so... This month, I want to read Empire of the Vampire and Empire of the Damned, which are J. Kristoff's um, vampire series. And I can't lie. Wait, have I been saying Empire of the Vampire and been holding up Empire of the Damned? Oh, bugger me sideways. <sighs> that was on my... Uh, feral... 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 feral one. I have not know where to put them. Hold on. We'll move the glass a minute. Oh my goodness. They are. They are. What is with self-published books being so heavy? I'm so excited. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How many did I read last month? Twenty-one. I can do that. What do I read first? What do I read first? 